In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a crosscut sled using Craig's Precision Track and Stop Kit. Here I got a sheet of three quarter inch maple plywood. I'm breaking that down using a guide and my handsaw. I'm going to rip that down to about 39 inches, I believe, and then go ahead and cut the final dimensions on my table saw. After I got the stop set to the distance I want it, I got my trim cut blade in there. That's an 80 tooth blade, give a nice fine cut with no tear out. I'm going to go ahead and cut all the parts for the table saw sled. Here I'm using my Craig Precision Stop Kit to go ahead and get all these cut down to their final dimension. I like to use my miter saw here, it's just more speedy and efficient. Now you can cut large boards on your miter saw. If you watch this technique here, just tilt it up and there you go. Adjust the stop and go ahead and make your next cut. This kit's great if you're doing a lot of repeat cuts. You can just set those stops and go to work. First thing I do is pre-drill and countersink some holes for the back support. That way I can get that glued up so it has a little bit of time to dry and set up before I get to building the rest of the sled. I line everything up and go ahead and bury some inch and a quarter screws down in them. I'm just using regular drywall screws here, nothing special. Here I'm inserting this rail slides into the miter tracks and I'm going to let them hang out a little bit. And this is the technique I use to attach the bottom board on the sled. You go ahead and set your fence to the distance that you want the sled to be from the blade. And go ahead and just pull it out a little bit. And as you pull out the sled, fasten in those tracks. Keep the edge of the board against the fence the best you can as you do this. Now it's not critical because you're going to be able to square up the back fence that you're putting on the sled to give you that perfectly square cut after the fact, but the closer you get now, the less work you have to do in the long run. You're going to want to go ahead and attach the back fence now with just a screw on each side. That way it can pivot once you need to adjust it down the line. Next thing you're going to want to do is slowly raise the blade through the bed of the sled. After doing this, you want it to barely poke through and you're going to want to go ahead and bring it to each edge without going the whole way to. That way you'll have the reference line for the center of where your cut's going to be. Here I'm attaching the back brace. I just make sure that I align it as close to center as possible. Like I said, it's not completely crucial. Nothing will be referred to this piece of wood. You're just going to have it there for support. Here I'm using the five cut method to square my board and make sure my fence is ready to go and good and square. I'm not going to show you how to do this, but you can go ahead and Google or YouTube a video. I'll post a link in the description of a good detail one I used. And there you go. Nice and square. I think it was off by like two one thousand, so I'm not sure. 
but after that you can go ahead and start fastening down the fence permanently. Same formula as I've been using this whole build. Countersink some holes and then go ahead and use some screws to fasten down the fence. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that all the heads of these screws are below the face of the base of the sled. And now for the fun part, attaching the track system. And this is pretty simple. I just went ahead and screwed the one piece in first, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and measure the second part to be cut. I did it this way because I didn't want to cut twice, so I only wanted to cut once, so I let it overhang the center and then I measured it. The metal's soft enough that you can do it right on your miter saw, so you can see here, breezes right through, and then you're going to just go right back to your sled and screw it in. You have to pre-drill these holes, so measure those out beforehand, and you can use uh, any metal bit you have and a little bit of lubricant, and you should be fine. Here I'm pre-drilling the second board for support on the back of the sled. It's going to sit below the track. That way, both stops that you use on this track system can still freely glide along the top. All I'm doing here is the same as before. Countersinking some holes and then drilling some screws in. This last piece here is just a 2x4. I cut down a size and rounded over the edges and it's going to go over where the blade comes out on the back of the saw. Now this doesn't stop the saw blade, it's just there for a reminder and for you to put your thumbs on while you move the sled. After she's built, just go ahead and apply some wax to the base. Uh, I'm using paste wax, just rub it all over, get it on both slides and the bottom, it'll give you a nice smooth, easy glide. And there you go. Stop's real easy to use. You can go ahead and move it to wherever you want, lock it in, and you can make easily repeatable cuts. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I want to thank Craig for the track system. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave any comments you have down below. Thanks.